Hey food lovers, remember the time when I made stir fried bok choy and I saved the ends of the bok choy? Well, I'm going to show you how to regrow them. Here I have the bottom ends of the bok choy that I cut off, put it in a Tupperware with a little bit of water at the bottom, and as you can see, they're starting to re-sprout. Isn't that amazing? That is so cool. You can literally regrow your vegetables over and over again, and you don't have to go to the grocery store and waste money and buy it over and over when you can really just grow it from the comfort of your own home. Isn't that amazing? Take a look at that. It's starting to sprout. That's literally four days in. And already it starts showing leaves. And also you can do this with green onions, carrots. The list just goes on and on and on. I highly recommend you try growing your own vegetables at home. Or you could just, you know, when you buy it at the grocery stores, cut it, save the root part, put it in a cup of water. When it started to root out, stick it in the soil just like this. And eventually, in time, it will start to sprout leaves and it will regenerate over and over again. And you will have unlimited supplies of vegetables. Shout out to my boy Max right there, the furry. Chihuahua, give him a thumbs up if you think he's adorable. He is such a good boy. Oh yeah, back to the vegetables. Here is my vegetables. Two weeks in, I know. You got bug bites all over it. I've been neglecting it. That's solely my fault. Green onions are growing really big. Take a look at them. It's time for harvest. I should be chopping this soon when I'll be making more dishes for you guys in the future. But definitely try growing your own vegetables at home it tastes a whole lot better and it's better than buying it from the grocery store here are some chives that i just grew and also some mixed greens but guys i will catch you next time on the next video be sure to subscribe and i'll see you all later